Okay, on to the good stuff. I was originally planning just to take my 243, but uh, after hearing Tooty explain what's um, actually available to hunt there, I thought it might be wise to bring a 22 as well. Seems like there could be everything from rabbits to deer, so I've pretty much got that covered with these two rifles. This one is my Tika M55 243. Good old girl. I haven't um, had time to get out, of the, out to the range to do any reloading, so the only loads I'm going to be able to take will be from these projectiles, which are 90 grain spitzes, soft points. Um, I'll probably load up about 20 or so of those, that should cover me for the weekend. And then I thought about taking my the rifle I've previously just uh, done some videos on refurbishing, but again, I haven't been out to the range to actually sight it in or test it, so going with the trusty old P94S Seiko. Heavy barrel, varmint, 22. It's a beautiful rifle, this thing. It's got a set trigger, so it has the normal draw weight, pull weight. Then if you want, you can push the trigger forward and it becomes like a target trigger, very light and crisp. Super accurate for a 22. The heavy barrel and the right ammunition. You can extend the range of it to your normal Bruno or whatever who's around. Also on there I've got the, uh, the little attachment so I can put my bipod if I wanted to. So if you're really keen you could snipe rabbits out to 100 yards with that thing. So this is my little hunting pouch, gun pouch I would say. I'm not actually taking it with me on hunts, but it's just got all my gun stuff in it. There's my bipod. Try to put on either rifle. All I've got to do is swap over that little thing there which attaches to the swivel point. For ammo, I haven't actually tried these yet, but I thought seeing is those are the only two rifles I'm taking. I've got some hyper velocity 22, so they should be good enough for foxes at a fair distance, around 50, over 50 maybe. So the Stinger is 1640 feet per second with a 32 grain, which would be good long, for long distance on rabbits. And then the Velocita is a 40 grain at 1435 feet per second. So that's probably a hard hitting projectile for foxes or whatever. Also, I've got 100 rounds of the, I've got a box of that uh, Federal cheap stuff, whatever it is, the value pack, so I just put 100 rounds in that little container, which would be more than enough to um, plink away at anything if we get a chance. Here I've just got some hoppies, a little cleaning kit, some patches and brushes and earplugs, mop, uh, little hoppies, pre-soaked hoppies, cloth, if anything gets wet, I'll wipe it down. And then I tried to get myself a, uh, a three-piece cleaning rod to go in this kit, but you have to pay 30 bucks and you get all the other shit which I don't need, so I'm just gonna take this one, which is a, it's a Parker Hale. Yeah, Parker Hale, which is a cheap rod. It'll do the job if I need to uh, clean anything while I'm out there. So that's basically it, I think. A few more details about the rifles. On the ticker I've got a Leopold 6.5 to 20. So it can uh, reach out long distances if I need it to. And on the Seiko I've got a old Weaver 6 power scope. It's old but it's beautifully clear and does really well in low light. Even though it's only not a, not a real big scope. Okay, so that's it. Looking forward to the trip, fellas. Looking forward to meeting all you guys. And hopefully we, we will get some pigs, goats, and whatever else is around.